Okay, we're getting ready, getting ready to go. Okay, I think I'm live. All right. Hey, everybody. Uh, the world's ending, and I decided to have some fun. I got an email um, the other day uh, basically saying, Hey, are you Ryan Dow? Are you the person who made uh, the Brownie Dog series of games? And I was actually that Ryan Dow. And um, I did make those games. I made some games in high school. Um, I don't want to. I don't know how how deep into this lore I want to go into, but back in the '90s, um, there was a program called World Builder, which you could use to make a very kind of uh, primitive um, black and white um, adventure games, mostly text-based adventure games, and uh, it was it was actually a, a pretty cool system like it had its own drawing tools it had variables it had objects it was simple enough that like a 14 year old could pick it up but it was complicated enough that you could actually really do some really cool stuff um ray dunakin did a, a game called a mess of trouble which was a classic like he was the person i was aspiring to being at the time so um, these were things that I made, like I said, when in high school. Um, I'm going to play one game right now that I probably made when I was like 15, maybe 14. It's not the first game I ever made. Uh, that I think was, uh, I think it was called Schoolyard Assassin. Um, so uh, I can't find a copy of that. Um, I know there were some places I couldn't upload it at the time because what I, what I used to do is I'd make these games and then I'd upload them to like AOL software uh, boards. Um, Back in the 90s, this was back when uh, you could accidentally run up a really horrible bill for your parents um, <laughs> with AOL. If you, were, if you were not careful about how you signed in, um, this was on the, the days when we had like a 14K modem. And uh, so I would upload them and uh, people would download and play them. And so this was like the second game I had ever made, the, the Schoolyard Assassin. I know there were some places I used to try to upload it. Too, and they basically refused saying, oh, hey, Ryan, uh, a game where you uh, try to assassinate a principal, that's that's not cool, dude. Um, so it was a different time. This was pre-Columbine times. And this was me, you know, try, that was me trying to be like a 14-year-old edgelord at the time. So um, these uh, this is a series of games that I did uh, about a, a character named Brownie Dog who was based on, uh, based on this, a little pound puppy I had. Uh, uh, when I was a little kid, um, probably uh, the most notable feature is he's got these curly ears, which was uh, something that kind of perpetually fell, uh, you know, perpetually followed through with all my depictions of Brownie. Um, and so I used to draw him a lot. I used to make little storybooks with him, comics with him. Um, and so eventually I just used this character and all his, his friends in this game that I made and uh, this was one of the early ones this is when I didn't use all of the full tools of, of World Builder um, I'm, I'm planning on playing all of these and I'm gonna share it with you because I you know what I, I, I just want to do this this is fun I don't care if anybody watches it um, but I just feel like recording myself doing this because the thing is, I never thought I was going to find these again. Like, I thought they were lost. Like, computer they were on was damaged in a flood. This was back before the days when I really thought about having backups. I'm amazed that this stuff exists. And um, I, I got to play it, and I kind of want to just play it, because, like, I have not played this since I was, like, like, since I basically went into college. And 
Uh, I played this one a little bit just to see if it would work and make sure it did, doesn't crash. But I, I just kind of want to play this, get my reaction to it, um, because I, I probably won't even remember how to how to beat this thing. And hopefully it won't take too long. The early games I used to do uh, took me about like a, a few, you know month or two I, I would spend on it, working on it after school. The last game I did, I, I would pulled out all the stops and, and actually worked a year on it. Um, and it was, it was pretty solid. I think there was one game breaking bug in it, but, uh, so without further ado, um, by the way, this is, I'm running this on Basilisk 2. I finally got this up and running. It's basically a, an old style Mac emulator, um, for like Apple seven, which was what I was using at the time. There is, there was supposed to be sound in this, in these games, but, um, to be honest, like I didn't really have sound when I was working on these because I had a Performa and World Builder sound did not work with Performa. So anyway, we're going to launch this now. Oh, oh, hold on. Let me get into this. All right. So I was, I made up a company called Hyper Weasel Incorporated. Um, somebody had even asked me when I was like, are you actually incorporated? And I'm like, no, I'm just like a, I'm a, I'm a. I'm just a kid, um, and uh, there's an old address that doesn't exist anymore um, on there. Uh, I, shoot, I probably should have blurred that out. But um, anyway, because uh, this was back in the days of shareware, uh, where basically like all software was free, and like there was no Patreon, so it's just like uh, send a five dollars to a certain address. And, uh, you know, um, sure, uh, you'll, 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 you're good for it, right? I don't know. I don't, I may have gotten one check from this. I don't know. <laughs> so, um, so basically I, I, I had a fake company cause I was a kid and, uh, this is the start of the game. Um, and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll read some of it out. Basically the way this works is. There are physical. There are objects that you can click on in the program, but also a lot of it is text-based. So you are Brownie M. Dog, the not so famous inventor and owner of the company Brown Co. Brown Co., which was uh, basically it was a play on Ron Co. because uh, Ron Popeil infomercials were really popular at the time. You and your dear, literally, oh God, girlfriend Jane Doe, go out to the park to play a little frisbee. Unfortunately, all has gone terribly wrong. So click next to continue. Um, oh, it's sorry. No, sorry. <laughs> but the sounds do not work on Power Max or Mac AVs due to differences in sound handling systems. Okay. So we're getting some real uh, fancy lettering here. What is that thing? Oh, no. They kidnapped Jane Doe. And uh, a mysterious craft disappears in thin air. You can't even begin to explain why. You have to find out what the thing was and to find a way to save your girl, Jane Doe. Oh, God. This is going to be embarrassing, but I want to do this because, okay, every time, I, I'm probably going to say this a lot, but I made this when I was like 15. I might have made this when I was 14. I don't know. I don't have the exact timeline down. Um, so we're going to uh, we're gonna click on this here. All right. So I found uh, instructions on how to build a time machine. Uh, <laughs> Could that strange contraption have been a time machine? Oh boy, I don't know. So uh, the way that the navigation works in these games is you type out uh, a direction to go in. So you can say go east, but you can also just type east. So we're going to go east, and now we're on the road. All right, we're on road one. Um, there is a newspaper on the, on the ground, so we're going to pick up the newspaper. This is kind of a like a Zork style game, but you can but you have some some graphics. So we're gonna pick up the newspaper. Uh, okay, I guess I have to take newspaper. Okay, maybe I have to click on it. Uh, okay, now I have the newspaper. All right, so I'm gonna read the newspaper. All right, come one, come all to the display of Madame Chow's gem stool. Gems. Okay. Gemstone, the world's largest block of cubic zirconia. I don't even know if I knew what cubic zirconia was back then. I was just making stuff up. So it's at the museum. So, oh, oh, it says when you're finished, click the newspaper. All right, so I have finished. 
All right, so let's try going north. Let's see what's going what's going on north here. All right, this is a house of Bill P. Bull, retired fighter pilot, retired fighter pilot, and resident fatso. I mean, really fat, really really fat. I mean, huge. Bill's house is north. Uh, north. Um, uh, I'll uh, so we'll we'll head in north. So here's the thing. I used to read a ton of Garfield comics, so I thought fat jokes were the funniest damn thing ever. So you know. Um, bear with me here on this okay so you're inside B Bill P Bull's house it is uncupped it kempt and messy much like mine um exit uh, to the house is south um it's a very fat purple dog is smiling at you it also looks like there's a toaster here so I think what what you could do in this game is um you could actually have uh objects appear randomly although okay now he's not letting me give the toaster. He needs something in return. All right. So we're going to go south. We need to get something to give him so that he will take the toaster. So let's go to east. Um, all right. So this is Egg Eye. This is like the kind of character that you make up when you're like six years old. Um, there was a cartoon called Foofer at, the, at, at, at one point. Um, basically, the design is like that. I was trying to go for like a really skinny character. Um, with egg-shaped eyes and I called him egg eye don't ask uh, too much so we're gonna go north into his shack he was kind of uh, a kid of the 80s very skater punk, you know skater boy kind of guy um, <laughs> I will try to make through it without dying of embarrassment here but I hope this is entertaining to people because this is uh, a lot of fun for me <laughs> all right so it's extremely cramped and messy. Uh, there's a poster of supermodel Cindy Clawford on the wall. Um, the exit is south. Uh, to, so we can talk. We could try talking to him, and he's just saying how you doing. So all right. So we're gonna go head head south here. Um, all right. So Bill's house west. There's a street to the south. So we're gonna go south. All right. There's a workout video. Cindy Clawford workout video. I think we know what to do with that. So we're going to go north, north. And then so I think we give workout video. Let's see if I did the syntax right. All right. Thanks, buddy. You can keep the board. All right. So now I got a skateboard. I have no idea what I'm doing with a skateboard here. Um, I wonder if I can read instructions because if, if I still have those instructions. Um, read time machine instructions. Yeah, okay, fine. So the way that this this program worked is you had to like program in every possible syntax. So I was not that great at this. Uh, this was like I said, this is one of my earliest games, so I, I didn't really know what I was going to. All right, so this is Billy's Beef Jerky and Casino Emporium. Why that? I don't know. Uh, like this is like trying to explain like a fever dream. <laughs> So we're going to go north. All right. So there's a, a special on beef jerky, $1 a splice. So I'll see, if I, I'll see if I can buy jerky. I probably don't have any money. I don't have enough money. Okay. So I got to get some money somewhere here. All right. So we're going to go south. All right. Okay. We'll go west. All right. Let's check west. Okay. We're at road two. Can we go south? All right. This is my house. This is Brownie's house. All right see what's in here all right so um, I also had some um, uh, pound puppies like some little ones called there were there were two of them they were uh, I called them both pepper I called one little pepper and one big pepper so this one is big uh, little pepper here okay so quaint familiarness of the room gives you a warm sense of home you have a sudden feeling <laughs> you have a sudden feeling to kick up your heels and light up your pipe the exit is south. Your adopted son, Little Pepper, has just come home from school. Hey, Dad, how you doing? He's got a bag on the ground. So can we take the bag? I cannot take that. Okay. Um, can, is there anywhere else I can go inside the house? Oh, okay. Now he's nah, he, he's heading out. All right. Maybe I can take the bag now. Uh, do I have to click on it? Okay. Let's try opening the bag. Let's see if this works. All right, inside I find a calculator. 
I think the calculator is is part of the instructions for the time machine. I don't remember. Um, okay, so we go north. All right. Let's see what's east. All right. So there's a museum. Let's if we go south. All right. This is the cubic cubic zirconium. This eccentric lady. I think this is Madame Chow. On the ground, we see some water. Uh, I don't know. I think the water is placed randomly. Because um, you could, um, in World Builder, you could put random objects out. So uh, you could put them in random places. Because I I did launch this game, and sometimes like the water would just show up right away. It's, it's weird. So, okay. So we cannot... Oh, I cannot take this thing without the police coming. So I'll uh, head out north. Okay. So, I'm I'm starting to feel a little stuck now. Unfortunately, there are no walkthroughs because, like, seriously, like, one person played this probably in the last two years. So, um, so I'm probably going to need beef jerky for him. All right. Is there anything to the east? Anything south? Okay. So, um, this is exciting, isn't it? I wonder if I can read the instructions from here. All right. Evidently, there's weapons things, but like, I don't know if I don't think I ever have to fight anything. Um, all right. This is where it gets exciting. Um, I wonder if there's anything in the mailbox. Okay. Okay, let's check the mailbox. <laughs> huh? Okay, fine. Be that way. Um, can we, is there any stairs? Okay, is there any east maybe? West? Okay. I am stuck. So I've got a skateboard. What can I do with, okay. I think the skateboard was another ingredient to the time machine. So I need to get some money. Where can I... Is there a place I can work? Can I take the poster? Okay. I cannot take that. Um, This is like my karma for me designing bad, bad, bad games. Um, oh boy, I'm if, if either I'm too clever or I'm just. I don't know what I'm doing. if I click on okay okay what am I missing let's check my inventory all right let's read plans okay okay so, I need to build a time machine. I need a toaster, a calculator, a skateboard, and a block of cubic zirconia. Um, 
All right, so I got the skateboard, I got the calculator, I got the zirconia, I don't have the toaster. How, how do I get the toaster? How do, so I know I need jerky. Oh, you know what? It's a casino. It's a casino. I remember now. <sighs> All right, so there is a slot machine to the north. And I actually programmed this in a slot machine. Okay, so I have to keep I have to keep pulling until I get some mo money here. All right. Oh, there we go. Cuz there was there were like na random number generators that I could use for this. So all right, I got money. Woo, I got some cash. All right, so let's buy some jerky. All right, we got jerky. We're going to give it to we're going to give that to Bill. All right. So, I'm trying to remember cuz I thought there was something about a chronologic stabilizer or something. Um we're going to give him the jerky. All right, we're going to take the toaster because I deserve it. That's how this is how things work. A toaster is worth a piece of dollar jerky. This is how the world works when you're like dumb and young. All right. All right, I got the toaster. All right, we're going south. Okay. So, Let's read the plans again. All right. So. So I've got the toaster, the calculator, the skateboard, and the zirconia. Um, okay. So. I think you just say make time machine. Oh, shoot. I don't have the cubic zirconia yet. Okay. All right. Let's check my inventory. Some plans, a bag. All right. Let's try throwing water. I don't know. Okay. Okay, so I gotta buy uh, some a million dollars. Um, if I can buy the gym, do I have enough? Oh, I did make enough from the casino. So evidently, I made a million dollars from the casino. I, I don't don't think about it too much. All right, so uh, she okay. I gave her the money. I got the thing. All right, we're going north. All right, make time machine. All right, we got a time machine, guys. Okay, that wasn't that hard. All right, I'm going to save my progress here because um, because uh, oh, disk is full. Okay, we'll try saving it somewhere else because um, I think time machine. All right, okay. So we got the time machine. So I think, I think now we can just say time travel to time travel. All right, it's happening. All right, we are in the time zone, the passageways between time and space. Unfortunately, with your branded time machine, you cannot control what time period you go to. Oh no! Da da da. Go any direction you can use. So we're gonna go north, and. We there was a spinning animation there, but evidently this like this thing's too souped up. All right, I am in ancient Egypt. Uh, calculator blinks two two. Ah, excuse me. Calculator blinks six two five. The time machine must have sent you to ancient Egypt. The Sphinx is to the east. The pyramid is to the north, and there is a large stone block east. Uh, huh. I wonder if that one of those is supposed to be west. Okay. Whoa. Oh man. I wonder if that was guy was a thief. Okay, he ran west. Let's go west. 
Oh, dang it. He, he took the Zirconia. God damn. Oh. Jerk. All right. Um, so let's see if we can go west. Um, all right. We're going to talk to him. Oh, dang it. He went north. All right. Let's head north. Um, oh, hey, we got some Alpo on the ground. Um, I think those are, I think those are things that like will help me, uh, restore health. Uh, I, I think there's like a health system in this. Um, all right. So now he's going to go in north. Shoot. He swam to the river. All right. Um, so he's, he swam and he's in a boat. Um, there's a beaut, oh man, I spelled beautiful wrong. Um, woman by the boat. All right, let's talk. It's Cleocatra. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll get through this. Cleocatra, I'm having problems. I bought this new boat. Then when I'm about to enter my new boat, the plank that it was used to get from the banks to the boat broke. Now, now no one can get into the boat. Oh my gosh, this is like uh, overly written. Ah, well, I was young. Okay, all right. So, first you believe it's a mirage, but you find that it really is an oasis. There's a sparkling pool of clear water here. You can go, okay, so there's nothing really here. So we go south. All right, there's giant blocks. Used to build a pyramid. Must weigh a couple tons. Okay. I don't know what to do with that. Um... All right, let's go west. So there's got to be a plank of wood here somewhere. All right, so we'll go east. We'll go to the Sphinx. I think there was like a something like if we push the nose. All right, hidden, hidden compartment. So we're going to go down. All right, we're in a, all right, so there's a hieroglyph. Looks, looks like holding a scepter with a gem in it. Okay, so there's a tunnel that goes east. Gonna go east. It's very dark. Uh, so I'm gonna go south. All right, I'm gonna save because I don't know, man. All right, um, dog tunnel ground east and north. So I already went south, I think. So I think I have to go east again. All right, and there's guards. Oh my god, they're they're guarding the mummy, King Dog. Dog and Coghen? I I don't know. Ugh, whatever. Okay. So uh, portals to the north. It's guarded by uh, heavy bodyguards. All right. So we're gonna have to go west. Whew. All right. This is this is uh, some tense stuff, man. All right. So we're gonna go west. <laughs> gonna go up. All right. Um. Okay. So I guess we're going to go south again. Oh, or north? West? Okay. <sighs> I don't know if I got the directions right. All right, so pyramid's up north. So let's see what's going on with the pyramid here. Oh, shoot, I must eat soon. So I'm going to eat some Alpo because I had some Alpo. All right, mm, that tastes good. All right. Um... Even today, dog kind has not has not been able to construct a building so magnificent. Um, there's no visible door or any way you can see the, into the pyramid. Let's see if we can click around. Um, I can also go south and west. All right. Okay, we'll go west. You know what? Let's drink some water. All right, because I, I have a feeling I'm probably going to need a drink, too. Um, north. So I haven't found a plank of wood yet. Oops, south. All right, let's go west, south. Well, let's see if we can examine stone. Look at stone. Okay. Let's try move block. 
Block is way too heavy. Okay, look at block. Okay, so I think I think the the thing was like this was supposed to be a clue to touch the nose to be able to to go. Um, oh God. Need high rope. Yeah, it depicts a dog punching a sphinx's nose. So, um, okay, so what am I missing here? There's got to be a plank of wood here somewhere. So there's nowhere to, I can't go south. Let's go east. Um, is there another way to, okay, I can go south, go down. I wonder if I have to fight those guys. South, east. Okay, looks like these big dudes don't want to talk. We're going to save. All right, so I, I think we're going to try it. We're going to try to fight. Swing the fist. Are you nuts? These big dudes would slaughter you. Okay. Um, hmm. Try going north. Only those of no high nobility. Hmm. How do I prove I'm high no of high nobility? So I kind of look like the Sphinx. I don't know if that makes us makes sense. Um I wonder what happens if I go for a swim. Okay. So we need to get a plank of wood. This is the exciting world of video games. All right. Um, I wonder if I can look behind the block. Okay, so I can't move the block. I wonder if I can climb the pyramid. Okay. Um, oh, hey! Some dates fell out of the palm, palm tree. Okay. I wonder if that's just something I can eat. Either that or, I mean, we could see if they like, if the big guys like dates. Ah, east, south. can't type right now. All right, south, north. Nope. What am I doing? Ah, performance jitters. All right. What if they want dates? I suppose I could give them some cash. Let's see if we can bribe them. You know what? I wonder. Okay. Hmm. Well, 
wonder if there's a search command. Okay. Remember, you used to remember there being a search command that it would always find stuff. Okay, we're going to eat the dates. They taste odd. Hey, dates don't taste odd. Come on. Okay, we're going to try searching the pyramid. Oh, what am I missing? There we got some more dates. I wonder if I can swim. Ah, it's not swimming in that filthy water. Okay. Um, oh my gosh, is it over before it even begins? All right, let's go east, south. I wonder if I search here. Can I dig? All right, I did the search and I found the board. Oh my gosh. So exciting. So, okay, so I found a board. Let's find Cleopatra here. Give the board to her. All right. Now we're going to confront a thief. You know, we better save first. All right, so we're going to have to go through another exit. She can't give anything, but she... Oh, my gosh. He died of a heart attack from the strenuous swim. Oh, but the... Okay, so the, the cubic zirconia um, is now shattered and useless. So, good job. All right, so now I've got a headdress. So we're going to wear the headdress. And a headdress is, is two words because... Um, all right, so we're going to go here. I don't know, um, south? All right, south, south, east, east, down, uh, east, north, south, and east. Okay, so we'll see if that'll let me go north. Uh, do I have to put on the headdress? Aha, now that I look like uh, I'm nobil noble. So, all right, so, all right, I am in a rank and murky tunnel. To the south is the exit. All right, to the north is the tomb. So if we go to the north and, you, oh, shoot, a stone door uh, closes behind me, preventing me from exiting the tomb. <laughs> proofreading all right so we're gonna go north all right and uh, we're there's a closed tomb so we're gonna open the tomb and there it is all right take scepter all right and maybe I have to click it oh no he's fighting me oh no okay uh, maybe we can swing of the fist all right <laughs> one hit Hit to the side, falls apart in a dusty, crusty mess. All right. So I wonder if I can do make time machine. Use scepter. Okay, so we're going to save here. We're going to try to time travel again. All right, I think we're back in the time zone. All right. 
So we're going to go south. And we're spinning. All right. We got some puppy chow. Oh, no. I should have read that other stuff because I just passed out. And now I'm... Uh, I'm in a tube with uh, test tubes and magical devices. There's Bill. Oh no, it must be Bill's great great ancestor. And his name is Merlin because that's historically accurate. Whatever. I was, I don't know, I was like 15. Okay, looks like it took quite a fall. Let's talk to him. Seen other patients um, were experiencing a condition called time lag because he knows I'm a time traveler. Um, the frequent problem with time, problem with frequent time travel is the body is unaccustomed to traveling speed of time. The, traveling at the speed time requires, it becomes sick, and now you will not have the stomach, <laughs> stomach to time travel. There is a cure. Do you want to hear it? Yes. Okay. He treated the initial time lag symptoms, so at least uh, I can walk around. All right. Uh, we have the cure. I will not be able to time travel, and I'll be stuck in this time for eternity. Um, he has all the materials but one. He needs a clipping of a dragon's toenail. All right. Would you go get it? Yes, I have no choice. All right, let's go. Let's look around and see where to wait. All right, so can we go north? Can we go west? Can we go east? Can we go south? All right. Okay, these puns are just killing me. All right, so this is Dog and Hood. It's Dog and of Loxley. Um, all right, he's the best archer. Uh, sure, let's see some of his archery. He misses completely, and he's and he's in rage, and he throws down the bow and arrow. So I've got a bow and arrow. All right, we're going. We're moving along. Okay, so. Uh, so we go east. Um, there's a giant. Uh, he seems friendly. Um, hmm. so we're going to take some dog food here. Can we take some shoelaces? Okay, so he's got some shoelaces, but I need to cut them with something. All right. There's a sword. Can I take the sword? Let's try to take the sword. All right. The sword slips out very easily. Okay. This must be when I was getting tired. Um, okay. Oh, there's a drawbridge. And I probably need the shoelaces to get the drawbridge. So let's go north and east. All right. So we're going to cut uh, shoelaces here. Oh, I need to use something. I need to use the sword. All right. So south, west. All right, so we're going to um, tie shoelaces to arrow. Uh, okay. Use arrow and shoelace. Okay, so using the arrow and the shoelace, uh, I tied it around. I shot it across the way and uh, to this peg that pulls the drawbridge down. So uh, now the drawbridge is west. So we're going to go west. And there's the dragon. Oh, yes. Okay. And there's a damsel in distress. Oh, man. Looks a lot like Jane Doe. Okay. All right. The dragon is fighting me. So I uh, wonder if, I, if the sword is a weapon. Okay. We're going to be saving here. Um, so he's scorching uh, fiery breath as a side. It's a miss. We're going to try singing the sword. All right, we got to hit to the side. He melts into nothing, leaving his toenail behind. The dragon is dead. On the ground, you see a toenail. And all right. So, um, yeah, you are braver than that other dog that came. Okay, I saved my life. You're braver than that other dog, Cy Brownie or Cyberoni. <laughs> Or whatever he called himself. What is your name? Brownie. Thank you, friend Brownie. Well, I had better get going. The man, the maiden disappears into the shed. There are no shadows. Dang it. Ryan. Young Ryan. Well, you're so weird. All right. Um, so we're going to go north. We're going to go north. All right. So we're going to give him the toenail. 
All right, so now we got the antidote to time lag. So we're going to pick that up and we are going to drink it. All right, so now we can time travel again. So we're going to save. We are going to time travel back into the time zone. All right, so we're going to go north. Oh, no, we're in Bethlehem. <laughs> so, okay. Oh, no. Um, light Chinese. Okay, we're going to go north. All right. So, I, I think... I wonder if we can time travel again. All right, so now I'm in the middle of an endless ocean, and uh, let's see if anything happens. Uh, okay, time machine will not let you, will not work. Okay, so I guess swim. I guess I'll wait. Wait. I'm trying to remember what I have to do here. Did I... Is this a bad state? Because I think I had some bad states here. Um, I think there's a boat that's supposed to show up. And we're going to revert to my last saved version. So we're gonna, I guess we'll try to dry the time machine. Hmm. My status, inventory, search. Oh, okay, when, when in doubt, always search. And a time machine, or excuse me, a pirate ship shows up. All right. So if they throw a rope down leading up, so let's go up. All right. We got some, we got some swashbuckling pilot. Uh, they're infamous, <laughs> infamous pirates, the Sea Dogs. Uh, they are the mangiest group of swashbucklers to sail the seven seas. Um, all right. As long as you enter the ship, the pirates tie you up and gag you, preventing you from going anywhere and saying anything. Okay, I guess we'll just wait. All right. Um, oh, I'm an Imperial soldier, probably based off my Legos. Um, okay, so we'll just wait. Um, all right, they're going to make me walk the plank. All right, that's fine. Not sure how I'm going to get out of this one. All right. Uh, wait. All right, now there's now there's some gunshots, cannon shots from Imperial ship. He appears concerned. All right, now I'm in a prison <laughs> with the rest of the, with the rest of the pirates. Okay, they've taken everything, including my time machine. Dang it! Okay, we see some bones. All right, underneath the bone, we find a knife and a bone whittled to uh to fit the look <laughs> fit the. Okay, it does say lock of the door of the prison wall. 
All right, so we're going to take that. We're going to take that. All right, so do we have to click on it? Um, so we're going to use key. All right, that was easy. Let's go south. Oh, no. So let's try using the knife here. Since I've got a knife, we're going to swing a knife. All right, hit to the side. He's dead. Everybody, I'm just slaying people left and right. That's that's not going to have any problems with the time stream. Okay, and I got to eat something. So what do I got? I think I still have some dates. Okay. So I don't remember which direction. All right, it's all my stuff. So we're going to pick up all my crap here. We're going to go uh, save. So we're going to we're going to time time travel back now. I think this might be I think we might be reaching the end here. All right. Now I'm at a small point. It's a point in time. Ha 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 ha. Man, I have too much time on my hands. Yes, you do. All right. So. All right, this was a joke. Type time travel to move on. Okay. So we're going to time travel again. Uh, let's see where, where else we have to go next. Okay. Calculator on your time machine blinks 2026. All right, we are right outside the Time Bandits machine. Things are ramping up, guys. All right. So we're going to go south to the time machine. All right. We found, uh, we shudder with horror. The Time Bandit is a distorted future version of you. He has a mechanical arm and half his face is covered in metal. All right, Jane Doe is in its corner. All right, so what are we going to do? Talk to him. We are too stunned to move. All right, it, he is Cy Brownie. Okay. <laughs> um, that he is the Time Bandit. As you can see, in 30 years, you will be turned into a cyborg, half dog, half machine by a bunch of brilliant scientists. This is about 20 years ago. I made this about 20 years ago, so we got we got 10 more years before this this cute little dog turns into a cyborg. So, all right, um, all right. I'm still too stunned to move. Uh, uh, okay, a viral plague wipes out and it wipes out her, which is, who is my wife in the future? Um, so, what if we go back in time? Um, all right, so. So now the choice is, is up to me. Either I go back into the present, wait 30 years, or I can fight him now in which I will kill you, <laughs> making me cease to exist and save me from the grief of having to lose Jane. Which is it? Okay. Uh, we're going to save. <laughs> so um, I guess we're going to just, I think we're going to kill him. All right. Um, we're going to swing a sword. All right. Very well then. I see now I have to kill you and myself as well. All right. I have encountered him. Okay. We're going to swing the sword. All right. I, I missed. Holy crap. All right. Swinging the knife. All right. He's dead. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to untie her. Uh, strange ways like the Romeo. How is this like the ending to Romeo and Juliet, Ryan? Okay. It's just like a sci-fi sort of suicide, I guess. All right. Travel thousands of years. Come on, let's go home. Now we're going to the credits. The end. All right. It was produced. Oh, special thanks to Sarah Montag, who evidently helped uh, test this out. Um, so, yeah, that's uh, that was the game. I am definitely wanting to play all of these because... It, it, this is a lot of fun for me. Um, so, so most of these games I think will probably take about an hour. Um, I don't know when I'm going to do it next. I mean, if I have enough energy, I'll do it tomorrow. But uh, let's see here. So this is fun. This has been a lot of fun for me. I'm probably going to upload this to YouTube. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, let's, I'm going to check the stream here. Okay, it looks like people are actually watching this. So anyway, I'm going to, um, the lady who is nobility, I, I don't know, probably, 
Oh, Cleopatra? Probably. Um, <laughs> the big guy's like, oh. I probably should have given him Alpo. I don't know. Anyway, um, I'm going to end this now. Uh, thanks for, thanks for watching this. And, uh, I, I'll probably do like, I, I made like five of these things. Now, one of them, I don't know. One of the last one I did was Brownie saves the day. It took, I don't know how long that's going to take. And I know there's a game breaking bug in it. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching this and, uh, thanks for, thanks for, uh, like thanks for letting letting me relive this because this is this is a lot of fun for me. I there is a website where these games are at, um, and uh, um, I, thanks thanks so much for watching this with me. All right, bye.